Mark, you had so much success here as we documented here, and I know you're getting sheepish the whole time every time we start uh, pointing out all of the success. What's the significance of making sure you get a share of the regular season conference title tonight? Well, first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming here. College game day is such a big, big deal. And you guys do such a great job with it. Uh, it's just, I mean, it means everything to us and to this community because this because everybody cares so much about basketball. But, uh, you know, one thing we've always tried to do throughout this whole run is we cherish every moment. We don't take anything for granted. And league titles still mean a lot to us because that means you <laughs> slugged it out over the course of, you know, two and a half months. You had to go on other people's home courts. You had to protect your own home court. And they, they're still a really, really big deal to us, you know, as is NCAA tournament appearances and winning games in NCAA tournaments. You know, Mark, uh, over the course of your time here, there have been more than a few of your friends that have said maybe 10, 15 years ago, you ought to go to take a major conference job because you can win a national championship there. And, and you, I remember you saying, we can win one here. Yep. And at that time, you were probably the only one that truly believed that. <laughs> what, what, what made you think that back then? I, I just, just the, the special, you know, thing we have here, the, the ability to, to, to get great players, not only get great players, but to get the camaraderie and the chemistry and everybody in the entire from our administration to the athletic department to the to the staff to the players pulling the rope in the same direction and I think that's been the whole key to this this whole deal and and uh, you know I just always thought that I mean why not here and we've came incredibly close to it and we're still trying what's the essence of Gonzaga basketball I'd say define Gonzaga basketball you walk into a recruits house Say this is who we are. What, how would you define? I mean, I, I would just define it as just uh, you know, as a player, somebody who's competitive as all get out, who obviously has you know great talent, but also really values being on a team and has NBA aspirations, playing in the NBA, knows he can play in the NBA, but wants to just enjoy the heck out of his college experience, whether it's a year or two years or four years and just really value being on a college basketball team. The family feel has been part of Gonzaga basketball for years, and family's the reason LaFonso Ellis is in Phoenix right now. Senior night for his son Walter last night. Fonz is missing yeah. out on all the fun. Uh, but Fonz, I know you're, you're interested in asking Mark a question. Yes, yes. Mark, I heard that you and Baylor coach Scott Drew were going to take your undefeated record on the senior tour at some point. Any truth to that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We're, we're, we're making plans, yeah, maybe down the road sometime. But that undefeated record was, was done a bit against a lot of cupcakes in the, uh, <laughs> in the bubble, so I'm not sure we're ready for prime time. And <laughs> You've got a pickleball court marked out on the practice court over there. Heck yeah. Always getting ready to go for yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah, I know. And I'm on, I'm on uh, Scott. He better be practicing here. I don't think he has been lately. So <laughs> that's why I don't think we're ready. <laughs> they got a big one today, though. Yes, they do against yeah, Texas yeah, coming up. Texas is good. Yeah. And yeah. Baylor's really good, too. We played them both. Yeah, that's for sure. Mark mentioned getting great players. One of them is Drew Timmy, who went 94 feet with Billis. Welcome to the Kennel Campout, where we're going to do 94 feet with Drew Timmy after all his incessant whining and crying on Damn. the Gimme Timmy podcast. <laughs> Congratulations on this, Drew. Tell me about your favorite mustache look. I'm a fan of just the straight stash, maybe with a little hang over the lip, but that's, that's my favorite one. What's the stuff you, what's the one you call with the chin only? Oh, the, uh, it's, the it's the White Goodman one. White Goodman. <laughs> that's the White Goodman look. Uh, if, if some actor played you in a movie, who would it be? Have to be White Goodman. He's the best one. I think Ben Stiller and Dodgeball should play Drew Timmy. <laughs> All right, how about fashion? I hear you wear a lot of Uggs. PJs and Uggs every day. And then, uh, I hate to ask you this, but people say your boxer shorts are a little off. I got South Park, Star Wars, SpongeBob, I got it all. I shouldn't have gone there. 94 <laughs> feet. <laughs> ben, if, if you took the over on Ben Stiller mentions in college game day, somehow you came out a winner. What, what's the one question that Billis should have asked Drew Timmy that he didn't? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, 
What is Coach Few's nickname for him? <laughs> oh, uh, well, now you can well, answer that. Can answer it. I call him the union president because he, uh, <laughs> he's always constantly reminding me if we're going too long in a practice or if a film <laughs> session is uh, going a little long. So he's my union press. I should have asked him, <laughs> Drew Timmy, philosopher or flake? <laughs> and it probably would have been flake spelled with a PH. Yeah, that, yeah. that would be the yeah. end. Okay, I know you've had a lot of big games. More nervous for your basketball game tonight or your daughter's big soccer game this afternoon? I would say it's a basketball game. That was it's basketball. A, yeah, Sorry. Uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely more nervous for my daughter's. Uh, it's a go to state or go home uh, game today, so I'm, I am a little uptight for that one at noon. <laughs> any words of wisdom do you give her? <laughs> What's do you that? give her any words of wisdom? I told her to just, like I tell my guys, just let it rip, man. Go for it. <laughs> just, uh, just go for it. That's what the Zags yeah. will do tonight. Mark, always great to see you. Yeah. Thanks for being with you us. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.